What up YouTube? This is your boy Popcorn Parang with yet another video. But today we are doing something a little bit different and we are working with shoes. Yes, you heard me right. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Nivea Appeal. Yes. And in today's video, I will be describing all the features that you need to know before selecting a shoe and especially a budget shoe like this. This shoe specially comes in with a super price tag which is less than a thousand rupees. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. The first point, what will you be needing to play badminton with? You will be needing a non-marking shoe. This is non-marking rubber. So this rubber does not damage the coat. The badminton coat will be easy damaged if you use any other shoe material. It can be studs, it can be spikes, it can be a normal running shoe. It will leave a mark behind but this material won't leave a mark behind. Kindly go and ask for a non-marking shoe when you buy a shoe especially for badminton. This provides extra 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 grip. For example, this is a glass surface and you can see that this does not slip so this provides you extra protection this is the shoe that you must wear for badminton there is no other material uh, with which you will be allowed to play badminton so first thing that is out of the list second thing is that your shoe should be breathable so i just said that this is a very good budget shoe though this is not a very breathable shoe if you can see uh, the second half of the shoe if i can call it is breathable the first half is not very breathable however they have given you these small red holes uh, if you want to make it a little bigger you can take a pin and you can actually poke holes over there your shoe must breathe okay there should be space for air to go in and out because you'll be wearing socks you'll be sweating so you will have to buy a breathable shoe so that is the second point and third point is uh, third point is the comfort of the shoe uh, if you see this sole, this is actually very hard, it is not really, really comfortable. So what you can do is you can buy a gel. You can either buy a heel gel or you can buy a full shoe gel. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, when you go to a sports shop, you can ask for a gel and they'll give you, you can put it in here or you can put it throughout the size of the shoe and it will provide you a really comfortable gel finish to your feet. Uh, so that is the whole purpose of the gel and that's it about gel and uh, let's talk about ankle support for a second uh, one of the more important factors of a shoe is this ankle support which you see over here this should be rock solid again this is not really that solid but when you go for a high-end shoe this should actually be solid because this is the uh, place where the bone of your uh, ankle actually meets and uh, you need firm support for that so this part should actually be really solid so look out for that when you buy a shoe and that is out of the list uh, we are talking about cushion over here over here this part should be nice and cushiony because this is going to hug your legs and if this is very hard then this is going to start irritating and cutting your uh, uh, foot or I mean sorry feet uh, so Especially if you know, uh, if you have experiences with heels, then you know what I'm talking about. So ensure this part is nice and cushiony, all this area. So that is up with the cushion. The most important point, the weight of the shoe. A lightweight shoe is very, very important. Yes, I mean it. Some shoes are really, really good, but they are really, really heavy. You don't want a heavy shoe. Just go for a light shoe. The lighter the shoe, the better it is. So always choose a lighter shoe but don't give up on the quality a lighter shoe with a better brand is always good and then uh, of course there is this factor that not many of them touch uh, ensure that there is good material used over here if this material is not really the best if this material is used over here then it will be amazing because when you bend your foot like this you can see that this part is actually getting crushed so over the years, uh, due to wear and tear, I will show the images somewhere over here. This part will actually wear off and you will eventually find a big hole over here. So you don't want that. You want good material used over here or breathable material which is soft which is used over here. So look out for that. Also images will be over here. So that's it for that point. And then uh, again another important point when you regularly use this shoe, there is sweat accumulated throughout the shoe. The shoe soaks it up and gradually the shoe's uh, cushioning part will start shrinking. So you can put it under the sun or somewhere uh, where there is heat and light so then it will expand back to its normal uh, position. Please do take good care of your shoe. 
um, the point that I'm going to be discussing now is about this shape. There are different shapes when it comes to shoes, the bottom and this half of the shoe. Uh, this point that separates the shoe is a very very big factor. Uh, the deeper it is, the better it is. Uh, there are some shoes that are actually flat. You can avoid them, you can go for shoes with these uh, kind of patterns in them. So that is a good point over there. And then there is of course lace type, we have uh, talked about the bottom, uh, I mean it goes like this, there is flats and there is shapes like this, there are all kinds of different shapes, you will only get to feel it when you actually feel it in your hands, there is the lace shape, some of the advanced shoes uh, companies like Yannick, they produce a lace shape, the lace starts from here and then it curves its way till here, this shoe is a flat lace, it's not bad but it's not good as well, when you have, uh, I mean this is a right shoe, when the lace curves from uh, this angle to this angle it's much better for your right foot I mean it's much more comfortable while lacing and also there are a lot of videos about the lacing techniques do it with them as well again this is much better than this okay um, more important stuff more disclaimers a better racket is not important a better shoe is important if you are wearing a bad shoe kindly improve to a better shoe if the shoe is not your perfect size, kindly buy the perfect size. It can be a little bit tight, but it cannot be loose. When your foot is wobbling inside the shoe, there is a high chance of you just crashing onto your shoe and then your this will happen and that's not going to be good for you. You can even sprain or worst case, you can even damage your bones. So that you don't want to happen. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, uh, a big racket doesn't make a big difference but a good shoe does make the difference mm, and yeah this this shoe actually comes with a small bonus yeah you can actually hang this shoe around which actually uh, cannot be found in a much better shoes but yeah that's, that's just a bonus I mean that doesn't solve any purpose but yeah that's just there I'll choose better material uh, there is a very 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 important point when it comes to choosing a racket or a shoe we are talking about shoes over here so this is the most important part this is the stretching of the shoe uh, many shoes many high-end shoes does not come with the stretching yeah of course they come with super 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 quality super 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 glue which holds your shoe and your sole together for a very very long time but i still recommend you going for the stretched ones because i mean stretch is always better than gum gum Due to the temperature changes, atmospheric changes, there is sweat accumulated, it. gum may come off but stretching may not come, uh, stretching will hold on much much better. So uh, if you are able to find it, go for the stretched ones or buy a glued on one and then stretch it, go to a cobbler, he will do it for you, it's not very expensive. Uh, and then we are talking about the most important points over here, companies that produce good quality shoes, Connex, Leaning and then I can go on and on and on. Just don't, just don't take the risk, just don't go for the low quality ones, just buy a good shoe, good shoe is really important. If you are choosing Yonex or Leaning, we have another video dedicated just for all the shoes that are made. This I chose because this was supposed to be the best budget shoe. People out there who are asking for the price, this is the best pick as of under 1000 bracket. So if you are looking a, a shoe anywhere around 20 dollars or 1000 Indian rupees, then this is the shoe for you, the Nivea Appeal. This shoe can be found in two colors, the red variant and the blue variant. Also watch out for another factor, the uh, thinner the midsole is, that is the gap from here to here. The thinner the midsole, the better it is. Better companies make thinner midsoles. So keep all these points in your mind before purchasing any shoe and I hope you find your best shoe. If you are not able to find your best shoes and if you want any information regarding shoes, or any other racket stuff, do call Badminton Doctors at 44 or subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Shoot us an email at popcornparam at gmail.com, that is my mail, or you can also email Badminton Doctors. Links will be down in the descriptions. Like this video if you did uh, like it and if it was informative, kindly share it with your friends. Thank you once again. Peace. Vanakkam.